This video demonstrates the installation of a Zepp Solar ZS seam array on a standing seam metal roof. Using your Zeppulator layout for reference, mark and chalk the locations of the seam mounts. To install a seam mount, align it to your layout mark and tighten the two set screws against the seam material according to the procedures outlined in the seam clamp instruction manual. After all the mounts have been secured, the front row leveling feet are installed. To install a leveling foot, place it squarely on the seam mount and secure it with a machine screw. Install the eastmost and westmost leveling feet first, and then run a string line between them. Install the remaining front row leveling feet using the string line to ensure that the front row is straight and the rockets on the top of the leveling feet are level. Next, couple the first two array skirt sections together using an interlock and spacer. Place the spacer on the key side of the interlock and insert one of the zeps into the array skirt groove at a slight angle, making sure to properly align the timing marks on the top of the interlock. Then rotate the zep 90 degrees from position 1 to position 3. Next, butt the two sections of array skirt together, insert the other zep into the array skirt groove at a slight angle, and rotate the zep as before, drawing the array skirt into position. Place the array skirts on the key side of the leveling foot rockets, making sure to set the cantilever according to the design requirements. Then rotate them downward until you feel the array skirt snugly seat into place. To keep the array skirt in place, insert a jam into each front row leveling foot. The array skirt is now ready to accept the first row of PV modules. To install a module, place the groove along the module's lower edge onto the tongues of the front row leveling feet and interlocks. Use the alignment marks on the interlock to position the modules and to maintain consistent spacing. The marks are about half an inch or 12 millimeters apart. Then pivot the modules downward while applying pressure down roof, causing the module groove to seat on the tongues of the leveling feet and interlocks. On the top edge of the modules, at the seam mount locations, install the leveling feet by hand. The positioning of the leveling feet is done by eye and does not require measurement. The ZEP tool can also be used to install a leveling foot. After the first two modules and their associated leveling feet are installed, couple them together along the upper edge by installing an interlock at the module seam. Insert the interlock by hand into the groove at a slight angle, making sure to maintain a consistent gap between modules by referencing the alignment marks on the interlock. Use the ZEP tool to turn each ZEP from position 1 to position 3, aligning the numbered timing marks on the ZEP tool with the timing marks on the interlock. Once the modules have been coupled using the interlock, leveling feet are secured to the seam mounts with a machine screw. The interarray wiring is managed on the uproof edge of the modules. To secure the wiring, load a cable into a cable clip and snap the clip into the groove. Slide the clip along the groove to eliminate cable slack. Two clips per module are recommended for proper wire management. Now that the front row is complete, check the array for level and make any necessary adjustments to compensate for an uneven roof surface. Using the ZEP tool with a T30 Torx bit inserted into its end, rotate the threaded stud of the leveling foot to raise or lower the array at each leveling foot location. Once the installation of the first row is complete, install subsequent rows of modules in the same manner as row 1. Dropping in, installing leveling feet, coupling modules with interlocks, and securing wiring. The tongues of the interlocks and leveling feet allow fine adjustments to be made to the modules in order to optimize placement and to correct for slight variation in frame size, while ensuring that rows are straight and gaps between modules are consistent. This flexibility allows for continual truing of the array as it's built. A third-party junction box or combiner box can be installed on the perimeter of the array using Zepp Solar's universal box bracket. After rotating the box assembly onto the module frame, insert a single jam to lock the assembly into place. Because the interlock is a listed device for establishing ground bond connections between modules in both east-west and north-south directions, there is no need to install separate grounding hardware within the array. In order to carry the ground path back to Earth, install a ground zep with a quarter turn of the zep tool on the perimeter of the array, where it can receive the PV array equipment grounding conductor. 
This completes the installation of a Zepp Solar Zia Seam Array on a standing seam metal roof. For full instruction on how to install a Zia Seam PV Array, visit the Zepp Solar website at zeppsolar.com. There, you will also find the Zeppulator online design tool, which will assist you in your layout design, specify attachment point spans and cantilevers, and generate a bill of materials.